Hey, I'm Dr. Pillay, and I want to talk to you about successful marriage. You know, I do a lot of men's groups, and I work with a lot of couples. And the number one quality that I look for in a successful marital relationship is the quality of commitment. Now, I understand you've heard that word commitment before, and, and I want to give you a spin, if you will, of what commitment means to me as I try to teach you how to be successful in your relationship. So if you will, I'm going to define commitment, commitment in a successful marital relationship is I will spare no emotional energy to problem solve that we may stay together. I want you to think about those ideas. Problem solve, spare no emotional energy. The idea of sparing emotional energy has to do with choices. A lot of people make choices to not face a problem or they make a choice to mediate, that is take a middle ground because it's less harmful, less difficult. Yet, when I ask you to spare no emotional energy, I'm telling you that I don't want you to take a middle ground. I want you to take a very firm stand that I will commit my emotional energy. Remember the word emotion? E, energy and motion, emotional energy. My passion, my love, my propensity to want to maintain a good relationship, to stay in this relationship. I will spare no emotional energy to problem solve. Now what that means is that you have to in fact face the dilemmas, the problems, the circumstances that are causing this relationship to falter. But we have to face them in such a way as to not be focused on if in fact the problem is going to go away, merely be by changing myself or you changing yourself. We have to work together. You know, I like to think of this word collaboration. And I, I if you will, will remind you of this idea of collaborative lifestyle which is one of the most important things that we think go with commitment. Collaborative lifestyle. I will co-labor with you to develop a lifestyle that's neither mine, nor yours, nor ours. Lifestyle, okay? So this idea about commitment, I will spare no emotional energy to problem solve, means that I will commit myself 100% to do what is necessary, to change whatever it needs to change. Because in a partnership, a marital partnership, you also meet me at the same place your willingness to commit yourself 100% due diligence to change whatever there is in you that I commit myself to change whatever is in me so that we get to that common place that's a different person. So when I hear people say, you knew the way I was when you met me and if you didn't like it, you shouldn't be here. You know, a marriage can't last on that. A family can't last on that. People have to change. People have to modify and bridge these gaps between each other because it's only by allowing myself to receive new information, look at myself reflectively, make those modifications and adjustments in myself so that I'm not the same person today. You know, I, I'm gonna tell you that somebody the other day in one of my classes said I'm too old to change. And, and I would say to you that that is a distortion of reality. We're changing every day of our lives and it's a fact of life. Today, if you have a smartphone, today if you go to the movie theaters, you know, we have now scanned barcodes for almost everything we buy. As life changes, some of us are forced to change because we have to collaborate with those vendors and those people that work around us for us to survive in society. And yet the idea that I'm not going to bring anything specific into myself that would be about change, and with that included this relationship, is truly a distortion of reality and it doesn't exist. So I want to remind you one more time that word commitment. Commitment. I will spare no emotional energy to problem solve that we may stand this relationship collaboratively, collaboration, okay? Hey, I hope you like these ideas. Again, I'm Dr. Pillay, thanks a man.